Some days things just don't work out, but other days things fall in your lap. And this is kind of one of them today. Today I was fixing a machine for a guy at the end of the road and um, he was like, oh come check out my shed and stuff, I've got loads of bits in there. And he found this chopper, rock control chopper, and um, it, it's in good nick, apparently it flies and everything, but um, the battery in it is six AAA batteries. And it's 7.2 volts in series when you hook them triple A's up. And it gives you 650 milliamp hours of uh, charge, which is absolutely disgraceful. I'd have gone mentally for the bought that from the shop with that power in it. It must last like 10, 15 minutes. So here's my idea on this one is take out the battery. This thing. So that is the six triple A's. And what I fancy doing is the battery came out of there, was hooked in there, under there. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get some, I've just weighed this thing and this battery weighs 73.59 grams. Which is pretty heavy for a battery but it's a nickel what's it called a nickel mh i forget what the mh is but it's nickel summit or other which means it's a heavy beast and i thought nickel why have they used a nickel battery for one of these you'd want it light right but nickel i think gave pretty decent ampage you know for the voltage it, it was able to kind of provide amps even though it was low voltage so I think that's why they may have used nickel here, but otherwise it doesn't make sense had I gone for the lithium ion stuff. And that one was 73.59 grams. And then I weighed the square one here, a power bank. And this one's 5.2 volts, and I think it's 2,000 milliamps. So the 2,000 milliamps, 2,200 milliamps. So I weighed that one, and that one was 68.43 grams. So this battery bank is lighter by 5 grams com in comparison to the nickel battery, right? And then I was like, that's not too bad. That's reduced the weight a bit. And even though this is 5.2 volts and that's 7.2 volts, I'm going to run this one into a step-up board uh, the power the power bank into a step up board and um, that way I'll get my 7.2 volts and I won't really lose much on the milliamp powers but considering this is 2000 milliamp hours and this is 650 milliamp hours already I think I'm on to a bit of a win with the power so that one was 5 grams less than that one so this one's 68.43 grams I've just weighed these things. And then I tried the circular power bank, which is this one, the Lifeline power bank. And this with it, it's got a metal case on you can take off. With the metal case on, this was 70.04 grams. So this one with its metal case on is just slightly lighter than its original battery. And this is 5.2 volts, 2,200 milliamp hours. And I'd, I want it lighter if possible, so by unscrewing the top of this power bank and stripping it down to its bare basics, so get rid of the top, get rid of the sides, thank you very much, use you in a, another experiment, and get it to the basic battery bank underneath, the power cell underneath with its little um, USB in and out. USB charge at the bottom, the small one, and the USB out at the top one. And basically I then weighed this one, and this one was 46.78 grams. So the original battery is 73.59 grams, so 73 grams, 46 grams. And when I then looked at the helicopter and realized it had a broken shell on it, a broken um, cover on it. I weighed this thing and this thing's about 38 grams, 39 grams. So 
by taking this off and removing the battery I should be able to add two of these battery banks on for the same way of what I've took off the original battery so two of these battery banks 5.2 volts each let's say I run the helicopter at 10.4 volts rather than 7.2 means run these in um, series to give 10.2 volts 2200 milliamp hours so there I get three more volts than the original battery and I also get another what 1350 milliamp hours which is three, three times the original battery's capacitor for the same weight so this nickel battery is definitely going and I'm gonna need a second one of these which is awesome and I'm probably gonna run it across the helicopter like that see if it can keep the weight kind of at the front and balanced um, so it's not leaning to one side or whatever and I'm gonna I want it I want because I'm not sure about the weights at the moment because if I use two of these I know that I'm gonna get roughly the same weight as what it started out as but what I'd like to do is use a third one of these to run a little wireless live feed camera which I'll hook up to the front which is probably like 10-15 grams the camera um, and then be able to feed that back to the laptop while I'm flying it and also have really you know decent range uh, another perk was that along with this helicopter I got a, beat, a bit of a beat broke and scarred um, controller but it, I'm not sure about the this button here whether it's supposed to be down or a spring's gone but the right button seems to work and when I had a look at the battery bay um, in the back it's got a square and a positive and negative going in there and it came with this bad boy which is eight double A batteries uh, looks like it's in series so each double A is 1.2 volts eight times is eight volts plus eight times 0.2 volts is 1.6 volts so it's 9.6 volt so if I run say even a 12 volt um, power supply um, into the controller not only should it get its initial 9.2 volts it needs to run but the extra few volts, volts might just boost the range a bit so instead of getting 100 meters might even wing it to 120 or something which would be pretty cool so what I'm gonna do now is I've took it out took this out with its wiring from here and I've took the wire off the top of this um, it's kind of battery array, plastic battery array thing and I've just took the wires off and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to crimp um, two Anderson clips to the wires so I can hook um, this thing up to a 12 volt SLA battery so this will be running off one of those big ass SLAs like in my um, uh, transmitter modification uh, videos and then when this is glowing and this is running I'm gonna try out the helicopter itself with the new battery banks on and um, A see if it flies, B see if I've messed up the aerodynamics of it uh, C check out how the battery banks do on life and stuff uh, make sure they've got enough juice and D I'm just gonna have to check the PCB step up board which I'll need to add on to this um, should be pretty light and the camera the wireless camera I want to add on to this should also be pretty light but the thing is is two battery banks 46 grams each to get 90 grams to get the original weight of the six triple A's um, I can live with but adding another 46 grams on plus the wireless camera and um, a step up board I'm not sure I'm not sure if like say l let's say the wireless camera and the step up board both add up to say 30 grams then I'm not sure if that 30 grams would be a bit too much for say the rotors to get lift on or to stabilize itself the only one perk is is it'll be running at 10.2 volts for example rather than the original 7.2 volts um, I expect it to manage the 10 volts for the factor 
that um, I used a step up board on a remote control radio control tank and um, it got super hot fair played but you know it still worked and also with this with it being a helicopter the wind should keep the step up board cool so it doesn't melt into the helicopter itself so from what was a, originally a pretty boring kind of helicopter what I thought would be a bit boring couldn't do much with it I'm now really looking forward to it to battery banking it up and getting a wireless live feed on it which brings me on to my next video I've got two videos I'm waiting to just finish off I'm waiting for some blocking diodes to finish this tank off which is going to be my waterproof in modification of a hinge long radio control tank it's never going to go in a title and um, I also want to do a bit of an order to battery banks because look at that in the in the last 10 minutes of just staring at this helicopter I've gone from the original boring nickel 6 triple A's which is pretty unimaginative and I've gone to looking at the battery banks and just having a few of different sizes even like that big one on the floor down there that one runs my um, uh, LCD screen for my electric bike and it also runs the camera which feeds the screen at the back of the bike I, I use them all the time there's another couple on the on the tank because they run the wireless live feed at the front and also they're going to be powering some waterproof LED lighting which is going to go at the bottom so with all the battery bank use the finger then I might just kind of line a few up and go through them just in case people find them handy. Um, it's just little stuff like these battery banks on the table are small ones they continuously produce, uh, send feed to anything connected to them whether that thing connected them to them is drawing electric or not where this battery bank down here that only set that'll send uh, power for 30 seconds but if nothing's actually drawing off it after 30 seconds it just goes in standby so if the weight wasn't too much in them in that battery bank to bring down this helicopter you'd plug the battery bank in do all your wiring send it up in the sky and after 30 seconds the battery bank would go on standby and uh, it'd fall out of the sky but I say battery bank because I initially heard of them as a battery bank but it seems in Americanism or uh, whatever means they're now a power bank so uh, either way it's battery bank power bank um, but yeah I, I hope this might inspire you in case you do get something like it and something tells me that if you were using them initial batteries even charging them to the full 650 milliamps wouldn't have done much and what's the point having one of these if you've not got a live feed on it so um, yeah once this is done I'll post another video and you can check it out flying and um, I'll do a price listing on it in case someone wanted to make one themselves and with stuff like this I try to keep it dirt cheap anyway so um, even though I got this chassis and everything free um, I could always just jump on eBay get cheap prices for stuff make a list in case someone does want to play with one it's like a baby cheap drone um, but it's just in case it, I'm just considering the weights now so yeah I can't wait this baby's flying in the air thanks very much for watching